Good evening and welcome back to the GeoGuessr Weekly Challenge with the Strange Lands. I'm here with Fixer. Hello. The Pastafarian. Greetings. And new to our weekly thing here is Neil Keppelmarsh, Dr. Jamie. Hello. Hello. And this is the weekly challenge that you'll see on the uh, GeoGuessr subreddit. Uh, we'll go through our last week's champion right now uh, with the score of 17,412. You know him, you love him. User GeoGuessr is the weekly champion. Level like six now, I think. So how many times he's won it. So uh, congratulations to him once again. Uh, if you'd like to play along with us, basically just uh, pause this video right now, follow the link down in the description below, and then uh, record your results from it, and then head over to our GeoGuessr and drop your score in the comments there. Right, right. Maybe you'll be able to uh, be GeoGuessr. Oh, hopefully somebody does. Somebody knock, knock that guy down. Indeed. Walking around with that name, GeoGuessr. What is, who does he think he is? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, if you'd like to make your own challenge, we also do a challenge on Fridays, which is a user-submitted challenge. You can go to our, not our, but uh, www.geosetter, and uh, that will let you create your own GeoGuessr challenge for us to play on a future episode. So uh, keep those coming. We do like seeing them. We're getting quite a few. We'll work through them as they come in. We do appreciate that quite a bit, though. Yes, yes, please submit more. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, for today's challenge, it's one against... Good words. Uh, once again, it's a two-minute time challenge. We get two minutes to find out where we are, and then we'll come back and discuss our results with each other uh, on mic together. So uh, is everybody ready to go? Ready. 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 All right, I'm clicking that little X in three, two, one, go. And there we go. Hello. I set out one week, to be honest. Um... Yeah, didn't feel so good, had a migraine, so last week was no GeoGuessr. So, we have some Chinese guy, and this looks like it's somewhere in the actual uh, tropic regions. Um, I think it has to be somewhere in Asia, in Southeast Asia, Asia maybe. Um... This is supposed to be the sun around here-ish. I think this is the brightest spot, so now we're to the, to the south. Huh. Uh, to the north, sorry. Um, as I said, tropic regions. Um, big city. I'm I'm clicking down in China right now. Uh, doesn't necessarily have to be some sort of Chinese guy, but uh, yeah, let's put it here in Yunnan, this province. Uh, there isn't much to go for now, is it? Apart from the guy's name, which I couldn't really see if I wouldn't be using Chrome. I switched to using Chrome for GeoGuessr. Uh, from Firefox, which I normally use, um, because of the name. Okay, this is some sort of climbing path. Okay, um, th this guy has no feet whatsoever. Yeah, I I would say mountainous region. Ah, oh, let's 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 take this here. Okay, let's make the guess. Oh, not so far off then. Okay. It, it All no right, so I, I couldn't uh, see the characters on that name too easily on my screen here. I just guessed South Korea as my score here. Um, I got 1,953 points uh, by going with like the central South Korea, basically. Uh, but it looks like it was Hong Kong, so uh, pretty cool. Uh, Fixer, how'd you do? Yeah, I recognize it as, as Chinese, and usually if it's going to be China, it's, it's probably going to be along the coast. So I just went looking for the mountainous areas in, in the eastern coast of uh, China, and I picked right in the middle by Nanping, and I got twenty three, twenty two. Not bad, Pasta. How'd you do? Um, I picked somewhere in the land because I saw the characters as well, and it looked uh, something in the uh, tropical regions. I picked a town named Liangshan, Liangshan, and got two thousand ninety seven points. All right, and Neil, how'd you do? There were characters? 
I, yeah, I okay, saw... so the name, the name in the bottom right, you can see who took the photo in the bottom right. Man, this, this is like all new GeoGuessr stuff for you here. Uh, uh, there's a right, name that pops in the bottom right who took the photo. That's the only thing we had to go off of here, really. Uh, you I can't tell. actually see it if you are using Firefox, though. Uh, oh, that would be a problem, yeah. Yeah, I couldn't see the name in most of the games, so I changed to uh, using Google Chrome. Okay, wow. okay. Did not Guesser know that. Though. Yeah, uh, that's why I never saw the name you saw. <laughs> Oh, that uh, we're like using because performance enhancing uh, drugs here. This is not good. But sometimes yeah, it's advantage. just uh, more misleading than actually helping. I guess it can be. I didn't know about the browser advantage. Uh, good to know. Hey, I, I, I don't know. So, I find it more helpful than that. Was that not the most lifeless city you've ever seen? Yeah. It looked like, like ruins in one spot there. Yeah, for it, sure. looked, it looked like there was nothing there. I think if I didn't yeah. know the letters, I would have taken something like Thailand or Myanmar. Uh, it looks yeah. like in the region of that. What was your score, Neil? Oh, damn. I thought I was going to go away with that. <laughs> I sort of saw the trees, panicked, <laughs> and clicked on Canada. Um, so, <laughs> I, I got 402. You know? right. As a oh, first well, score, I'm... It's early still. It's the yeah, Chinese exactly. area of Canada. Yeah, yeah it could have been. oriental <laughs> area. <laughs> Alright. Round two in three, two, one, go! Okay, let's see then. So... Lovely village. Looks oh, very old car over there. Looks European, to be honest, Eastern European to me. Um, I know there was a sign. Ah. Okie dokie. So yeah, this looks. I think it could be Poland. Uh, Poland or Slovakia is where. Or the Czech Republic. Uh, also, with something over the O. Uh, oh well. Uh, let's see then. Here, yeah, there's something over the O. Oh, no. Blimey. Okay, we see Maniok. Um. Yeah. So it yeah it, it it might be actually Poland. Slovakia has the same thing more or less. Um yeah, let's let's go in that direction and try to actually see something helpful. Oh, there's an internet sign saying oh nothing too helpful. Uh oh, it's Hungary. Uh, this is the Hungarian flag, so at least we are somewhere in Hungary. Hey, come here, you. Um, now to find out where we actually are in Hungary. Ah, uh, photo is blurry. Isn't very helpful. Ah, uh, anyways, Pushta. Nothing too helpful. Okay. All right, let's make the guess. Oh, yeah, it is Hungary. I'm All right, more... not too bad. Uh, okay. I saw a sign that had the EU flag on it, and that was as close as I was going to get, I think. Uh, I couldn't make out. There was, like, another little flag on that same sign, and it had the horizontal red, white, and blue stripes, and that's, like, to me, that's just anywhere. Uh, it I was green flags well enough. Not blue. It was green? Okay. Yep, it was, it was green. It was green, not blue. Okay. So well, that was that's another thing I said. Also, I'm colorblind. Not really, but <laughs> apparently I am in this, this case here. I went with uh, northern Poland, though. And I got 2352, so that's still not too bad, I think. Uh, Fixer, how'd you do? I did a lot better than I thought it would. I couldn't find much of anything. I couldn't. I didn't know what the language was. I didn't spot any flags. I didn't see a sign to the very end. It just it felt like Eastern Europe to me, and I guess right in the middle of Slovakia and got 2912. Holy cow, for a guess, that's really good. Not bad. <laughs> wow. Uh, Pasta, how'd you do? Uh, I saw the writing and I thought it has to be Eastern Europe, so Czech Republic, Slovi uh, Slovakia, Slovenia, or Poland. Um, but then I saw the same sign as you did, Modi, and that flag was the Hungarian flag. So I picked ah. the dead center of Hungary and got uh, 2,696 points. Oh, nice. Very nice. Neil, how'd you do? Uh, yeah, I... Saw the Eastern European kind of writing on the sign, guessed Belarus, and got 2,400 points. Well, not bad. Very good. All right. 
Sounds like we're pretty much even now. Well, Neil's a little bit behind still, but we'll pick a that up. Yeah, a second. Bit. Well, just a little bit. Just a little bit. We'll, we'll make some big mistakes here. I'm pretty sure I will be All it takes is one bad for us. And yeah, or one really good round. Eat. All right. All right. I look so forward to Round it. three. Yeah. Round three in three, two, one, go. Oh, I like this view. Now, where are we, though? Okay. Uh, Brian Bialik is... The name of the bloke who actually took the photo. We got the sun right here, which is in the dead center a bit to a bit to the south, so south of the equator. Um Or is it? I have no idea. I totally forgot how the sun trick work. Uh sun Yeah trick. Okay, Caucasian Asians Labrador, <laughs> um, yeah, very nice rocks. Can't really see something in the distance though. Oh, blimey! It it has to be near the equator. That much is sure. So, um, what do we have in terms of uh, landscapes that could be this? Okay really Caucasian, so uh, holiday region maybe? Oh man I can't make anything of this um, oh Papua huh, not sure why not uh, maybe because it's near Australia um, uh, maybe there are some mountainous regions in northern Australia. I have no idea. Let's take Australia. Just uh, no, 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 no. Put my damn marker there. Oh wow, uh, the sun trick didn't work at all. Wow. Oh boy. Oh wow. I did. I did think Badlands for a second there, but I wasn't like positive any place looked like that. Um, I went with, uh, a shot in the dark, went with Venezuela, actually, at, like, the mountain ranges there. Um, cause it was so green, and then it just dropped off to, like, just rocks. I wasn't sure what looked like that, but I guess Badlands makes sense a little bit. Um, so I got 1469 as my score here. Fixer, how'd you do? Yeah, that was not an easy one. The name didn't help at all. I, well, I guess it kind of did, because it told you you're probably not in, in Russia or Europe or whatnot. I don't know, I was mm -hmm. thinking Africa, actually. And um, but the guy had a Detroit Red Wings hat on, and the people looked fairly American. So I guessed the middle of Wyoming and got twenty four ninety seven. Not bad. Nice. Uh, pasta. How'd you do? Horrible. Um, so I looked at the sun. It was right, well, in the middle, I guess, and took it totally wrong. So I picked Northern Australia because. Um, yeah, most of the people were Caucasian, so I thought it has to be on the north peninsula of uh, uh, Australia and be a region there, but totally got it wrong. 172 points. Ooh. Yeah, the sun was, nice. was right west. It was pretty useless. Yeah. It was like, yeah, I was thinking, that's why I went with the equator, basically, because I thought it was like, yeah, so f just, just west that I was thinking with that, so I don't know. Um, uh, Neil, how'd you do? Well, I saw that it was kind of like a canyon. I thought it looked quite grand as well. So, you know, I went with a Grand Canyon, <laughs> um, which wasn't that far off. Not a bad guess. 21, 22. Also, yeah, I thought well, with bad. that grassy bit when you turned around, kind of looked like the Windows XP desktop. <laughs> I <didn't add> <laughs> <laughs> so you went with uh, Seattle. It's <laughs> um, uh, pretty good, though. All right, so not, not too bad. I think we're pretty much evened out now for the most part. Fixer's probably in the lead at the moment, though. Uh, let's do round four in three, two, one, go. Okay, let's hope for something better now. Okay, first thing I think is, well, Scandinavia. Let's walk down the road, or drive down the road. It is a Google stock image. We are driving on the right side of the road. As we can see by this lovely uh, do not overtake sign. Um, can I see what color this has? Not really. Um behind doesn't look different so okay 
Um, yeah, my first thought might be Sweden. Uh, from guessing from the signs, maybe. Yeah, let's let's take uh, old Sverge. Uh, where is the sun? Didn't really work for me last time. Okay, we are far to the north. Um, very far to the north, so maybe even further. Um, that way we got Finland covered as well. So, huh, okay. Okay, um, this isn't helping at all. Um, we are on somewhat of a big street. Um, interestingly enough... Yeah, um, it has to be in the northern regions of either Finland or Sweden, where the streets aren't, well, all asphalt or uh, concrete or whatever. So, yeah, I, th I think that might be. Okay, another car. Oh, that doesn't look too good now, does it? Um, is that a Subaru? I have no idea. Might might be a Volvo, for I for all I know. Yeah, yeah. I I think I keep being in Sweden. Yeah, best guess. Ah, uh, not too bad. Oh. All right. Um, I went with uh, Kazan in Russia because uh, oh. I saw one sign because that was uh, the only thing I had to go off. It looked like Cyrillic, so I went with that. And then I kept going down the road and I see a single other thing. Came to the car and I see one guy standing by a car and then there's another guy off in the woods peeing. And that's all I saw. That's, that's the highlights of my journey here. Oh. <laughs> I got 2241 as my score here. Fixer, how'd you do? You sound like you went the same direction as me. That sign, it, it said like hot map. It had no Cyrillic in it whatsoever. No, it, the, there was like a O with a line, like an O dash line thing. I don't know. I weird. didn't see that. Yeah, I, I saw the guy. I thought he was broken down. The guy just drove right by him. <laughs> so, I, I got pretty far down there, but I couldn't find any signs, man. I guess the middle of Sweden got 1887. Okay. Uh, Pasta, how'd you do? I pretty much did the same as Fixer, although I took northern Sweden, because we had to be pretty far north, and the streets weren't so good. So, I got 1918 points. Nice. And, Neil, how'd you do? So, once again, I'm the only person who went with Canada. <laughs> <laughs> I, th I saw trees. It, be, it has yeah. to be Canada. There are trees. I got 950 <laughs> points. Although it, it was <laughs> a pretty hard one, worse. so Canada would have been as good as a guess uh, as any. I mean, exactly. really, yeah. Exactly. I think that's not a bad guess, actually. It's like the same lateral. If you go from yep. where it is in Russia over to Canada, it's the same exact lateral, pretty much. Oh, yeah. We only tend to take Sweden and Russia because those are pretty common with GeoGuessr. That's right. maybe the only reason, and you can't know that, so, yeah. I've got a lot to learn. Canada, Canada is too, though, for, some, for yeah, a lot of not, things. I don't know. It, it's not very often that we get Canada. It's more likely to get Sweden or Russia. Or yeah, Finland. and the I people suppose. who made this are, are Swedish. That's why Sweden's picked up. Oh, I suppose. Often. That makes sense. Yeah. Anyway. Makes sense. All right. Final round here, guys. In three, two, one, go. All right. We are somewhere where there is water. A lake and we can move around actually and there is a car we can go to the car past the car to be honest uh, and now I'm already lost uh, we can go back from the lake um judging from the water we got hey, what what the hell is that is that a UFO this oh no it's a panoramic okay totally looked like a UFO to me. Uh, I want to go on that particular path. There we go. Okay, let's let's keep going down the path. I have no idea where we actually gonna end up. Eh, just load in the pictures, please. The sun is right there, so we are a bit to the north of the equator, so that uh, might be North America. Um, East Van Pele. Okay, um, it might be Mexico. That that actually sounds a bit Mexican to me. Or, for, uh, for all I know, it might be uh, something else. Um, yeah, let's, let's take this part of Mexico then. 
Uh, how far is it off the equator? Yeah, that 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 will work, I guess. Um, it, sun wasn't too far off, so I don't want to go too far north. Okay, he went this way, so let's follow him on his journey through the woods. Let's keep following Istvan, although he doesn't really take us anywhere particularly interesting regarding this challenge. Okay, so I got my no, bad score for the round what? now. Um, I went with Brazil what? and got 735 points. Nothing, nothing to go on for me, oh. personally. Wow. Two in Hungary! <sighs> yeah. yeah, that's odd. That's very strange. That is, that is really uh, weird. Fixer, how'd you do? Uh, I didn't do as bad as you. Um, oh God. I, that was that was difficult, man. There were there are no coniferous trees, so you couldn't go too far north. And that name, I don't know. I was torn between Spain and Italy, so I guessed the island in between. I don't know what island it is. Sardinia, I guess. Uh, Sicilia. Okay. Is I got twenty ninety seven. The boot and All the right. other one Not is Sardinia. Pasta. Uh, I did horribly again. Uh, so push to talk. Pasta, oh, sorry, uh, wrong button for push to talk. So ah. I did horribly. Uh, I <laughs> thought that name sounds Spanish or Portuguese or whatever, so I picked Mexico uh, because that the sun looked only a little bit north the equator for me. And yeah, 443 points. Yep. That was, that was that's a tough one. with Brazil there. The the name was I thought maybe Portuguese, so I went yep, with that, and I was exactly. thinking Brazil. That was the only thing I could think of. But Although that was my the guess. Only uh, thing, Neil, uh, keeping me from choosing <laughs> Brazil is that the sun pointed that it has to be in the northern hemisphere. Yeah, I didn't right. check the sun. Neil, where in Canada did you pick this time? <laughs> <laughs> I actually went. <laughs> I actually went for Norway this time. I thought it looked kind of Scandinavian, the lake and everything. Ah. Um, I ended up with 2019 points. So that's not too shabby. Oh man, yeah, this is, I don't nice. even know what happens in this round now. Everyone's we got all have a bad round, and it's all uh, I had pretty two even here, bad I think. rounds. Uh, yeah. All right. Let's I see how it is. Final scores here. All right, my final score. Oh my god, this is abysmal. If I win with this score, I do not deserve to. Uh, 87.50 <laughs> is my score here. <laughs> that is not a winning score. Uh, Fixer, what's your score? I didn't do too bad considering how difficult this one was. I got 11,715. Not bad. Oh, very nice. I have uh, uh, 7,326, so I, I'll probably lose. Neil? I ended up with 7,851. You beat pasta? Did I? He, he did indeed. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Way to go. <laughs> It all evens out. Well, and somehow Fix ran away with it there. I don't know. I call, yeah. I call shenanigans. Anyways, if you played along with us, make sure you're sharing your scores in the comments and on the subreddit post, and we can crown you the weekly champion next week. Thanks for tuning in once again, and we'll see you guys in a week. Or Bye. a couple days if you watch the other Bye. version of this. <laughs> Bye. See you guys.